Latin creations. Hello friends, welcome to another video of Latin creations. My name is Kamindu. So in this video, I am going to discuss to another important hematology topic: how to differentiate and how to identify immature white blood cells, such as myeloblast, promyelocyte, myeloblast, metamyeloblast, band neutrophils, or stem form cells. So let's discuss. Let's see how the maturation and cell differentiation occurs. First, primitive multipotential stem cell give rise to myeloblasts. Then it becomes into promyelocyte, myeloblast, metamyeloblast, band of stem form, and finally mature into granulocyte such as neutrophil, eosinophil, or basophil. So, how we can identify these cells in stained bone marrow smear? For that, we can use six major factors. Nucleus shape, size of the cell, present or absent nucleoli, present or absent granules, nuclear cytoplasm ratio, and color cytoplasm. So now we are going to see morphological features of each cell in detail. Myeloblast. The first comitum stem cell of granulocytes in myeloblast. Usually, it is spherical and about 10 to 18 micrometer in size. Nuclear to cytoplasm ratio is very high. It is evenly dispersed chromatin with 2 to 4 nucleoli. and it does not contain granules. However, its small cytoplasm is blue in color due to high RNA content. These are the sum of real examples. Promyelocyte When we consider promyelocyte, it is about 12 to 18 micrometer in size and usually little larger than myeloblast cells and actually these promyelocyte cells are the largest immature white blood cell type nuclear to cytoplasm ratio is high also similarly it has 2 to 4 nucleoli and the chromatin is slightly condensed. It contains reddish to purple scanty large granules in faint blue color cytoplasm. Myelocyte when we talk about myeloblast, it is ovoid in shape and little smaller than myeloblast. It contains condensed chromatin. Also, nucleotidocytoplasm ratio is low. And remember, we cannot see nucleoli. And other distinguishable feature is presence of many small granules. Lateralism is pale blue to pinkish in color.
metamolocytes. When we consider metamolocyte, it is easy to identify because it has kidney shaped nucleus which take half of its space from the cytoplasm. Also, nucleus to cytoplasm ratio is low. It does not contain any nucleolides. But cytoplasm contain many primary and secondary granules, and cytoplasm is pinkish color. These are some of real examples for metamolocytes. Bad neutrophils or step forms. Then metamolocyte mature into band or step form. The most specific page of these cells is the presence of band-shaped nucleus. Also, nuclear to cytoplasm ratio is low. Cytoplasm contain many primary and secondary granules. And it does not contain nucleolite. and cytoplasm in pinkish color. When we consider the size of the cells, promonocytes are the bigger cells than monoblast Monocyte, metamonocyte, step forms of band neutrophils are the smaller cells. Finally, these cells give rise to mature granulocytes. So friends, I hope this video was helpful for your studies as well as your questions. Uh, and most of my viewers request uh, quiz videos about these immature white blood cells identification. So I hope to decide my next two videos as quiz videos uh, for uh, increase to these immature white blood cells such as promolocyte, monocyte, metamolocyte, band neutrophil identification. So don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.